Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you a new random game today. So every once in a while, I like to just do like a random game that's usually either free or very low cost. That's probably just going to be like a one-off thing because they're usually pretty uh, indie, simple, early development games. And this one is called Coin Factory. And this is basically a factory builder where it's very bare bones right now, but the goal is to just build a machine that can generate as many coins as possible. You can see we got our inventory up here. We, uh, I actually, I, I just tested out a little bit, so I have more of these than I should have, but I started with 100 of each of these. And it actually, every single time I start up the game, it starts to be off where I left off and I can't actually wipe my progress, uh, at least not in the way that I found yet. So I've got a little bit extra resources here, and my goal is to build something that can generate coins. Over here are the things that we can build. So we can build conveyors, which we need to do to carry materials to this output here, which is, uh, this is basically our collector. Conveyors cost five of each of the bars, and luckily these things are outputs of each of the bars. This thing outputs a gold bar, this thing outputs an iron bar, this thing outputs a steel bar, and we have to use those to make other things like a steel gear molder, which uses steel bars to make a steel gear and it costs 50 iron gear so we probably should start with an iron gear molder which uh costs 20 of each of the bars and it outputs a gear with an input of an iron bar so the cool thing about this is um you can kind of create and recreate better and better conveyor belt systems and you can even go here you can even create a new machine and this allows you to create a machine that has mechanisms within that machine that work. But then once you create it, you can put it in here as a single object. So that's pretty cool. Now I've never really played a uh, factory builder things like this. So I am probably gonna be terrible at it, but uh, this game is free to download. So I'm gonna leave the link down in the description and I'll, and I'll just run through the game myself here and see if we can at least make some coins. I don't know how good we're gonna be at this, but uh, cause I really have no idea what I'm doing, but apparently we can upgrade these. I'm assuming that it upgrades the speed at which it produces. So let's start with the most basic of things right now. We're gonna choose conveyor. Uh, we're gonna build a conveyor that just goes, takes all of the resources straight down into our receiver here. So now you can see I've, uh, I've definitely used some gold bars to build these conveyors, but now we have an income of gold, steel, and iron bars to help us generate some more uh, machines over here. On top of the molders, we have our coin fabricator, and this is the thing that we really need to start uh, getting towards. And then we also have an item filter, and uh, in the instructions, it says that the item filter is something that takes inputs and then it filters them out into separate outputs, uh, which I guess we're gonna need later on after we actually get some resources here. All right, so now let's see. Now that we have this, we're probably gonna want some gear uh, development going on. So let's see if we want an iron gear molder. We need some iron bars feeding into this thing. So with the item filter, I'm wondering if the item filter can take like every other input and feed it in a different direction, or is it just designating like gold in one direction, silver in another, or iron in another, uh, and so on. So let's try it out. We're gonna delete. This is our iron. Oh no, this is our steel. This is our gold. Ooh, the middle one is our iron bar, and we wanna... We want to make our iron bars go into an iron gear molder. All right, so let's uh, let's delete what we have for now. Now let's see what this item filter does. We're going to put the item filter right here. I just realized I can't even make an item filter because I need gears. I thought I, need, I thought I needed bars, not gears. So I guess let's make some gears. We got plenty of bars now. So let's go ahead and put the iron gear molder in front of here. All right, that's not working. And I think the reason is we need a conveyor in between. We cannot have it feed directly machine into machine. So now, there we go. Now we're making some gears. And then in the meantime, we can also keep these bars rolling in because we need 50 iron gears in order to create a steel gear molder. And then we need 50 steel gears in order to create a gold gear molder. So. We are not going to be producing any iron bars anymore, or not collecting any iron bars anymore, because they're going to be converted directly into the gears. Okay, so we're at 32 gears so far, 33, 34, 35, so we're going to be getting there in no time. And then we'll make the steel gear one, and then the gold gear one. Alright, and 50, so we're going to go ahead and delete this, replace it with a steel gear molder, there we go. And now we need 50 steel gears in order to create our gold gear molder. 
So now it's just a waiting game. Where are we at? Steel gear is five. All right, so I'll wait for this to hit 50 and then we'll do the gold gear molder. And then soon enough, we'll be at coins in no time. And then it's just a matter of optimizing our uh, creation to get the most coin output that we possibly can. Okay, we're getting close. 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So now we will go ahead and delete this and put in our gold gear molder. And now we should have all gears being made, which means we have no more iron, no more bars being made. Iron bar, steel bar, gold bar. Those are staying where they are now. And that's okay, because I think all we really need now... I think all we really need now is gears. We need gears for the item filter, and we need gears for the coin fabricator. So for the coin fabricator, we need 50 iron and 50 steel. We have 40 steel right now, and we have, oh, plenty of iron gears. So what are the input? The input is gold bar. Okay, interesting. So once we have the coin fabricator, I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can create gold gears anymore. Because the gold, as far as I can tell, there's only one gold bar output. Let's actually upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade these and see what that does. So this car is iron gear 10, steel gear 10 to upgrade all of these. And I think iron and steel, we have plenty of that. So let's upgrade this, see what happens. All right, I'm not sure. Oh, output gold bar two. Okay, so now it outputs two gold bars at a time. Okay, so now it's saying I've upgraded each of these twice and it's saying that the output is four of each of those things. So I'm not sure what that means though because I'm still seeing a one at a time increase when it comes to these. So I don't know if it's, I don't visually see four happening. So I don't know if there's some changes I have to make, but now I think we have enough for an iron filter. Oh, item filter. Yes, we have plenty enough for an item filter. So let's see what the item filter does. I'm just going to go ahead and redirect this conveyor in this direction. And we are just going to put an item filter actually right here where this is. All right, item filter. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's really hard to see this. There's a this is menu right in front of me. Here we go. So we can have... Let's see if we can actually create an item filter that moves the same thing. So these are what? Steel? These are steel bars, so we're gonna say steel bar to the left at a rate of one. And what if we do steel bar to the right at a rate of 0 0.5, submit. All right, so now we need conveyors on the sides of this thing. I'm just trying to see how this thing works. Oh, there we go, the item filter does it. All right, so the item filter can actually split the output. Now, I'm curious, can I set... I don't think I can change the settings. I think I have to create a new one in order to uh, change the settings. Okay, so that is what we're going to need now if we're going to want to keep creating gears as well as coins. All right, so now I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking here because ultimately we want a coin fabricator to be working here and the coin fabricator needs gold bars. So just the raw gold bars. So we also want to keep an income of... or a production of other bars as well as the production of gears and all of that stuff so we need to be able to split all of these things into different areas all right so i'm actually just going to delete everything right now and we're going to just start from scratch here all right so we have plenty of resources plenty of gears plenty of bars now let's see how can we get the coin fabricator and everything else to produce at the same time and get received into here all right so i'm going to start sending some gold this way all right, and then I'm gonna want an item filter to split this up. So we're gonna have gold bar left and gold bar right. So now let's see if this works. So we should have just gold bar left and right happening. Okay, why isn't it working? It's not working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I had them at the exact same rate and that didn't work. Now I have them at, one is at a, a rate of one, one is at a rate of 0 0.9, and now it produces on both sides equally. Okay, so this is good. So now, we need to have the gold bars go as just the gold bars. We need to have them converted into gold gears, and we need to have them converted into a coin fabricator. Fabricator. I keep saying fabricator. I don't know why. Well, let's start. We're, we know that we're going to have to have a conveyor right there and that everything is going to lead to. I'm just going to have the standard gold bars just go straight to the conveyor here, and then I'm going to need a conveyor in front of this thing. And I'm going to have the gold gear molder 
be right here. And this is gonna produce us some gold gears, which can go right back on to the track. And then we can just have the coin fabricator, I think be right there. And that can just go like this. There we go. So now we have gold bars, gold gears, and gold coins all being fed into the receiver. All right, this is exactly what I wanted. So now that is the most complex part because the gold has to go into three different forms. Now the steel and the, the, steel and the iron can go into only two forms, gears and bars. So this isn't even like, I, I have a whole create new machine thing here that I'm not even using because I don't know how to understand it yet, but let's actually just start making something that produces everything. And then we can think about how to simplify it by doing this create new machine, which I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do that's going to be. Oh, oh, this is easy, this is easy. Okay, so item filter here. Now this is what, this is iron? So now we're gonna have iron go to the right at a rate of 0 0.9, and we're gonna have iron bar go to the left as well. So now we should have iron bars going directly in, and then over here is where we're going to have a iron gear molder. And can we have it feed in sideways like this and just go right back there? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now we got iron bars and iron gears being made right into this little area. Okay, now things are gonna get a little bit different with the steel. So we want steel bars to go this way and they are going to have to go into a splitter as well. And steel gears can't go into here, so we're gonna have to extend it over to here, I think, is where the item splitter is gonna be. Steel bar 0 0.9. Okay, so now steel bar should come out of both sides now. So now I can just have the standard steel bar go that way. And I can have the steel gears come through a steel gear, steel gear molder right here and then right onto the conveyor. There we go. All right, so I think this is actually producing everything. All right, I think we've done it. I think we have a machine that actually produces every single object. We have iron bars, steel bars, gold bars, iron gears, steel gears, gold gears, and coins all being added into this thing. So now obviously this could probably be made much more efficient. We could probably have more uh, gold coin machines happening. And actually, I'm wondering, maybe we can use the create new machine thing to uh, help us with that. So let's try it. Let's experiment. I don't I don't really know how this works yet. We're going to go to create new machine. This brings up a new thing. And I think it's from left to right that the instructions said. So we can actually change the color of what our machine's going to be here. So let's, uh, let's have it be red. Just because, you know, scrap man. And I don't know what it's going to do yet. We're just going to experiment with it. So I'm wondering, can this output multiple things then? All right, so it's gonna receive something from here, but what is it gonna receive? Let, let's see if we can make a machine that can take all inputs and then output one of each gear. I don't know if it can output more than one thing at a time. So that's why I'm not really sure how these machines work yet. So let's say it receives iron, steel, and gold bars all at the same time. So then we're gonna need some item filters to come through here. So now I'm assuming that if we have iron go to the left and steel go to the right, that gold will just go straight through. But I am honestly not sure about that, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that for now. And I just really have no idea how this is gonna work. All right, so if iron goes to the left, steel goes to the right, gold goes straight through. So now we need an iron gear molder here, a steel gear molder here and a gold gear molder here. And then this should output all types of gears. All right, submit. Oh, I forgot to name it, but it's red here. All right, so now just out of an experiment, let's see what happens. Now let's go in and put our new machine right here and see what happens. It's just taking things in and not putting anything out. So that's not good. Okay, so clearly I don't know, I don't understand how the machines work. All right, I figured out what was wrong. I watched an example video and uh, the instructions actually got it reversed. So we actually do want it to go from right to left instead of from left to right. So I got that completely mixed up. All right, so let's see if we can do this again. And then the conveyors go right into the output. Okay, now we have machine one here and we are going to delete this one because that one doesn't work. And we're gonna put this one here. Okay, so something's happening. It's working! 
It's working. Look at the gears. Steel gear 60 or steel gear, gold gear, and iron gears are all going up at the same time. So this thing actually does produce every all of the different types of gears. Okay, but now it's getting it's ignoring our gold coins. All right, so now I want to have the goal. I'm going to delete everything. We're going to delete everything here and I want to try to create not the not the quickest producer of things, but the smallest producer of everything. I want to have every single object go through like the shortest choke point it can and have everything be produced using this create new machine option, which means we're going to have to delete everything. All right, so first off, we need all of it to choke into a single point, and now all three of these are going to go into a machine, and I have to make sure that they come out as bars, gears, and coins. And I don't know if that's possible with the amount of area that we have here, but we're going to try it. I'm just going to make this, uh, I don't know, green, I guess. No, 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 we're going to do yellow. We're going to do yellow, because uh, that's the color of money. All right, everything. <laughs> that's going to be the name of this. If we can. I don't know if we're going to have enough room. All right, so we need to start with a conveyor. Oh, we're not going to have enough room on this. We are not going to have enough room. All right, I decided that this isn't going to work the way that I hoped. We're going to have to make this a little bit bigger than I originally wanted to. I was hoping that we'd be able to have a singular machine that does everything. But no, we're going to have to create uh, separate avenues for all of the different bars. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is just take a direct input of each type of bar and then split it into using a create new machine. I'm going to have to split it into both an output of bars and iron gears so we can put the molders in the machine. So let's start with the let's start with the steel one first. All right, so this is going to be the steel splitter. So we're going to get an input of whoops, we're going to get an input of steel. And then that's going to be split. So now this will give us steel here, steel here, and steel here. So then we need a steel gear molder here. And let's do another steel gear molder here. So this is going to give an output of two gears. And then we should just get steel going straight through as well. All right, so now let's see if this works. We put it here and it should give us bars and gears. And I think the only way to really tell is to have it go here. So let's see. We're steel... Whoops. Okay, so now steel bar and steel gear should be going up, but it's not. It's only showing me steel gear, which is interesting because that's not what I built this thing to do. Let's just try to simplify it a little bit. We're going to have we're going to have one side just output the bar. The bar is just going to go around and then this side is going to output the gear and the gear is just going to go right back there. All right, let's see if this works. All right, so now this is just output steel gear one. All right, so these aren't working the way that I was hoping that they would work. All right, I thought of a way to make things um, maybe a little bit better. So we're starting with this. We have um, our basic output of bars going onto the outside. So now the tough part's going to be the middle. I don't like that these things are so close to each other, but the tough part's going to be the middle here and trying to get this to have its own area. What I figured I'm going to do is make a uh, a new machine that is going to really make the output of coin much more efficient. So we're going to create a better gear molder first. So we're going to go create new machine. So this will take an input of gold. It'll put it through an item filter. So now we should have gold, gold, and gold. And then we should have gear molder, gear molder, gear molder. And then this should give us three gear, three gold gears at a time from this. So let's check it out. Yep. Input three gold bars, output three gold gears. So we can go ahead and just put this right there. And now here we're going to create a, our coin fabricator, coin fab two. And it's going to be the same thing, but with coin fabrication, coin fabrication instead. So this splits up gold bars into uh, three outputs. And then we have our three coin fabricators, re coin fabricators receiving these. And it should give us three coins as an output. Oh no, six coins as an output. Okay, awesome. It's even better than I thought. There we go. So now we could just put uh, this there and we can put that there. And now we have a bunch of gears and a bunch of coins being made. There we go. Look at that. Look at the coin output, six at a time. Six at a time, that is great. All right, so now we need to deal with this stuff over here. So we need a, a steel gear molder to keep our steel gear production up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, 
make our steel gear thing here. Put down three steel gear molders, and that should give us an output of three steel gears. All right, we can even do two of these over here for like a major output of steel gears, even though we don't really like need that many, but there we go, check that out. So now let's watch our steel gears right here. 99, uh, oh, there we go. Look at that, look at that go up. All right, now we need to make room for this area. I'm gonna try to make it so that we get, oh, this could work right here. This is where the item filter happens. Oh, oh, we have a problem. We are out of iron gears. We actually need to put an iron gear molder here first and just make ourselves some iron gears because we do not have enough iron gears to make what we need to make an iron gear molding machine. All right, I'm gonna wait until we get 50 iron gears and then we should be able to make our iron gear molding machine. I'm gonna put an item filter right where this is. We're gonna split gold iron, or iron bars going off into either side and then the iron gears are gonna go straight through. And then I think we will have a, a, a production output of every single object optimized a lot better than what we initially had it. All right, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. We're gonna put our item filter here. There we go. Well, all three directions technically. So our iron bars are just gonna go left and right like crazy. And then they're gonna go straight into this new machine that we're gonna build to uh, really optimize our iron. I don't know how to make an iron color with RGB. All right, we're just gonna go purple. And then mold it into three sets of gears. All right, and we should be able to put this right there. And now we should have everything coming in at a much higher rate than previously. So let's check out our steel gears coming in like almost six at a time. Iron gear is coming in three at a time. Another three, another three. And iron bars coming in two at a time. Steel bars coming in only one at a time for steel. But actually, yeah, one at a time. Yeah, iron should be coming in at two at a time. Gold and steel should be coming in at one at a time. Gold gear is coming in five, six, seven, eight, three at a time. And coins are coming in six at a time. So this is what I've managed to do, having never really had any exper experience with this type of, like, factory input and output game before. So it's a free game. Feel free to download it yourselves and uh, see what kind of crazy contraptions you guys can come up with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, this is definitely going to be a one-off episode because we've pretty much done everything that the game can have to offer other than just creating better and more efficient machines. But uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. So let me down down in the comments uh, what kind of machines you were able to create and what kind of output uh, results you guys are able to get. And let me know what you thought of the video. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.